86% of plastic is used once and thrown away. Since it does not decompose naturally in nature, plastic breaks down into microplastics, which travel up the food chain and affect human food consumptions as well. The impact of plastic pollution on water is self-explanatory. Most of the population would admit that they understand the impact. Despite these appealing truths, how come there is still a truckload equivalence of plastic entering the ocean each minute? How do plastic enter waterways and affect the habitat? We consulted the Environmental Service staff at the City of Hunkalum. What happens to our local waterways is that dumping remains a continuing issue on a regular basis. People often seek easy ways to get rid of their garbage without going to a proper disposable site. The problem consistently arises each summer by the Coquitlam River. Plastic debris ranging from flip-flops to air mattresses are left behind. Last fall at Don Roberts Park, hundreds of plastic plant pots has been dumped illegally near the Fraser River. According to the Great Canadian Shoreline Cleanup, tiny plastics, plastic bottles, wrappers, packages, and straws were among the 12 top most collected items of litter. Unfortunately for the local wildlife, these litters are more than just unpleasant sights. Animals such as salmon have been affected by plastic debris, especially near Como Lake and Lafarge Lake. There have been cases where ducks and birds got caught in plastic fishing line. Coyotes have been known to scavenge for garbage, which ultimately leads to poor nutrition. Though the facts seem grim, a lot can be done to prevent such situations. Dispose your plastic waste properly and avoid littering. Join the Plastic Wise Challenge. Reduce the amount of single-use plastics in your daily routine. The City of Kukulam offers Adopt a Trail as well as Adopt a Street program to support these causes. There is much more to what an individual can accomplish. Take activism in preventing plastic pollution in your local as well as global environment.